Okay, so we have a couple ships. We have the Dreadnought 2, and we have the Dreadnought 1. They are both really bad. Bad holes. Do not like these holes. We have a battle cruiser. Then we have we only have one battle cruiser. We have a couple a lot of heavy cruiser designs, okay. That's really nice. A lot of really decent looking ones, actually. I don't think we have any of that old heavy cruiser stuff. Yeah, the stuff that looks like this. We do have this is the only actual good looking light cruiser we have. It does decent speed. And we only have one destroyer. Alright, let's get to work on a battleship. What do I want? Probably the one with the better hull form? I would have to assume. A little smaller, but that's okay. So immediately, beam is going to have to go down to like negative 5. Okay, wait, okay. Add normal. So 22. Now... There you do get a little because this is the max optimal speed, but there's a little leeway you get when increasing before the huge jump. So let's just go from 20, 22 mil, 62%, 21, 22, 62, 22, 63, 22. So these numbers aren't increasing that much. 23, now we increase a little bit. 24, now we're increasing a little bit more. 25, ooh, that's a big jump. 67 to 78 so 24 is where we can get to before things become a problem unless we go negative 5% beam then nope still can't do it okay now we can do it we in fact cannot do it I mean this is still pretty okay 24 knots for battleship. I mean, that's more. I said at least one over the maximum optimal speed. That's definitely more than one over the max optimal speed. 24 knots is pretty good. Oh boy, can I not throw any? I just don't want to put them up there. Oh well. Let's just put a tower there. Um. Really. This battleship only has 13 inch guns? Oh, cuz. <laughs> right, so I forgot what year I started on. I got confused with the British campaign. Uh, so these are Mark 3s, right? I think everything is a Mark 3. Yeah, let's just take the biggest guns then. Uh, slap that on there. The secondary tower. Probably throw a funnel on there. Uh, by chance could I put this like here and then just get a barbette and throw a ton of guns back here? Something absurd like this. I almost wonder if this is possible. And throw a gun. Now the calibers. 59 cali- holy moly. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I need 59 caliber. That's a little little much. Let's take these down to 50 caliber. A little bit more stubby. Now we got a turret that fits there. And, oh, I can't put any more guns down. So we're going to do a little bit of a thing called a uh, cheating, which is... Uh, It's a little, it gives me a tiny bit of starboard weight F, or, oh boy, starboard weight offset. But, I mean, that's still a lot of guns. Okay. Already pretty good. Still have a four weight offset. Somehow. Okay, let's casemates. I think maybe 7 inch guns? I can't put 7 here? Okay. Let's take away that. Take away that. There we go. 
a little over, so let's actually go to that negative 5% theme. Okay, it did not help me that much. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. Okay, maybe we ditch the 7 inch guns for now. And this might be a little bit too many guns, so I really like having a lot of guns. I guess I could do tw uh, 12 inch guns. Because 12 inch guns are just as good, I think. We do have a little bit of space right now, but that's without secondary. So let's get rid of the 13s. Equip some 12s. Alright, can't do that. And then reduce the caliber, obviously. Get some side 12s. Let's just slap this right there. And we're definitely under. That's good. How close can I get this? Oh, pretty close. Okay. The more I can pull this back, the smaller my citadel will be. Okay. Let's put 6-inch guns... I don't think we need anything else besides 6 inch guns. A little bit of an apt way offset. Let's. Let's do a little something like that. Yeah. Take some 6 inch secondary guns. Plop them right there. And right there. Okay. Torpedo launchers? Do I... do I care? I don't think we have enough space for torpedo launchers. Let's just stick with this for now. Uh, I would like... How much armor? Okay, what are we... what are we looking for fights? What range? We only have around 15 kilometer range. It's a little bit of a brawler, but that's fine. It has the speed. It does, in fact, have the speed. Okay, now it has the engine efficiency. Let's give it a little bit of turning. Yeah, 491, that's... yeah, that's perfectly fine. Anti-Torp 2 is fine for now. Crop 3... Let's get... do I need all the barbettes? Oh yes, absolutely. I need all the barbettes. Stick with TNT. And... This reduces... Reduces my chance to flash fire, but also reduces my range. I guess I'm okay with that. That's a really big chance to flash fire. That's not very fun. Okay, well, bulkheads, reinforced bulkheads helped a little bit with that. Hmm. If I get the best shells, what pen are we looking at? 15 kilometers. 15 inches. And the AI, let's just say 13, 14 inches. So around 27. Where are we pen 27? We really do not. Okay. Um. Heavy shells? Still really don't pen them at any range. Okay. I don't think any of these. Donna gives us some more pen. Our flash fire chance skyrockets. What the heck did I click that made my flash fire chance so much bigger? Was it the light shells? Or the heavy shells, whatever? I could do more of a spam thing where we spam like standard base use and hope something goes through. 
Get enhanced reload. Let's just pick up advanced hydraulic. I mean seven or yeah, four four point eight five degrees should be fine. Allegedly. Do I want even smaller guns? Can I put four inches somewhere? Yeah, they go here. I don't think I need those. I'm going to ignore them. Take standard, increased... Light shells? Do I want to stick with light shells, though? I don't think I do. Let's just stick with standard. Oh, wait. Actually, it reduces my chance to flash fire, though. Let's actually do that. And, uh... If I just do 12 inches... Just 12, 6, 6, 6, uh, 3, 3, just take one point. Well, if I'm an umbrella, I need a lot of superstructure. 14, just 14, 14, uh, 7, and then 7, 7, okay, that doesn't work. Okay, fine. 6, 3, 3. Three, six again. What caliber? These are all 50 cal, which is really long in my opinion, but oh well. Six inch guns, let's make you guys 45 calibers. Okay, you are now 47 caliber. There we go. We're close to the displacement. I am not done though. Okay, we are no longer that close to the displacements. I forgot the Citadel. We are definitely not close to the displacements. Alright, what's up, you? Mid belt armor and mid deck armor. Interesting. I thought it was the speed was going to have something to do with it, but I guess not. Yeah, mid belt armor. I kind of need that armor, though. As a battleship, I kind of need that armor. Okay, what if I... That does make it slightly better. Now, what if I was to increase that by 5%? Better. Draft by 5%. Better. Draft by 10%. Still better. What about by 15%? percent there we go it turns out the solution to every person's problem is just making whatever is having problems bigger excessively bigger let's make this uh 23750 i think it was i don't want this to be too expensive i mean it's already an okay battleship Let's make it... Can I just make it 23,500 then? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. De Ride Puerto Gallo? Something like that? I don't know if it... Or is it Gallo? Port, Puerto Gallo? Could be something like that. Okay, that's one battleship. Let's build a more... Actually, what, what hole is this on? Doesn't tell me. Awesome. I think it was on the Dreadnought 1. So on the bigger Dreadnoughts, I want something more standard. Or do I even need a new battleship? Because it's the exact same hull. I can't really do much different, can I? Just say, let's take a secondary tower. Same kind of funnel arrangement. I think this one I want 13 inch guns. It's definitely bigger guns. And then, but less of them. Let's get at least 22. Let's get a bar of bats. I think I'm going to want a bar bat in here. The really? Really? Okay. 
Sure. And then let's make these 60 cal, which is really hard to believe they're 60 cal, but whatever. Uh, 70 second reload, but they have a really, really nice range. <clears throat> a little bit of an aft weight issue. Interesting. Let's move these closer in then. I could put something here. Not another gun. Well, hold on. Side turrets? Okay. So I know I literally did just say that I was going to put less guns on this ship. Now I'm very tempted to not do that at all. With side 13 inch guns? Ooh. I am very tempted. But I think, let's just say, put another 12, 6, 6, 3, 3. I should put 3, 14. Uh, actually, let's put 13 on this. 13, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5. Uh, 3.5, 3.5, let's just do 1.5 because I don't think these will be brawlers. 15, 15, 15. Seven point five. I can do math. Yeah, we're all we're almost out of displacement. <laughs> I haven't even touched anything. Let me do all the normal stuff. I haven't even made the ship that fast yet. Because I need to go at least 24. Okay, wait. Okay, so. 43, 99. Okay, so that's not, that's not that much worse. Yeah, okay, it's going to 24.5. No, I can do 24.5 pretty easily. Maybe we'll do that then. Or, actually, no, we'll stick with 24. Keep it the same speed as the other battleship. Um, Onyx 2, Turbines, Semi-Oil, I think I even need Induced, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not Induced, maybe I do need Induced, okay, what funnels do I have to work with? Can I by chance fit two of these somewhere? I could put this here, then I could turn this this way, in theory, and put some funnels on there. If I brought this back, let's just say I got rid of these, I put a small one there. So that doesn't turn fully anymore. But then again, did I ever really care about it turning fully? Bring that up a little bit. Yeah, it's still not going to fully turn, but that's okay. It nearly fully turns. And that gives me enough engine efficiency. What's my turning circle look like? 631? Yikes. Yeah, we're already over. Not fun, let's just say base use standard again. TNT Cordite 1, flash fire chance is very high. Let's say heavy shells. Nope, okay, we're gonna go light shells, because otherwise I will pop a turret. Let's go advanced hydraulic turrets. That works for me. Coincidence 2 and advanced radio. And we are definitely over. Oh shoot, did I forget to... Did I forget to mess with the, uh... Citadel armor in the other ship? I think I did. Uh-oh. That's not very good. Well, in the meanwhile, a really big forward offset? Seriously? Oh, is it because of this thing? Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, I have an idea. So I put this here. This doesn't come back anymore, does it? Okay, it kind of does. 
This doesn't quite fit there. Fits there though. Now if I put... I mean I could just put 8 inch guns. Hmm. Don't really know where to put them though. Can we even fire over that? I do not know. I do want big secondaries on this thing. I don't really know how I'm supposed to get them. Let's throw... Maybe 7 inch guns actually. Just keep all the calibers pretty standard. Can I put you somewhere else? Oh, well, maybe. Hold on. There's something there. There it is. Alright. Whoopsie. Put him right there. It's not bad. Go sneak some secondaries on. A big format offset. Get rid of that. Okay, if we were so overweight, I would think this would be pretty good. But we are in fact so overweight. Let's actually reduce ammo detonation chance with coal. And get induced. There we go. What is that? Oh. No, I need I need the space. Into torque 2. Anti-flood 1. That doesn't even help. Reducing bulk is helps. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. What else do I... Do I even need anything else? Yes. And the higher caliber guns. These guns have a lot of range, but I don't think I can uh, spot things out to that range, can I? Hmm. I mean, I'm only a little over. What can I get rid of? What if I go electric? Or just hydraulic? There we go. Hydraulic gets me 654. Eh, it's okay. Alright, so this is the second battleship. A little more expensive. Definitely, um, definitely bigger. Bigger guns as well. Bigger secondaries. So this is the Monton de Oro. Yeah, alright, let's let's do this. Okay, so apparently this ship's tower is incorrectly placed, and also I did not mess with the citadel armor. So let me do a little something called copy the design. It says the middle tower is incorrectly placed, though that's correctly placed. Let's go... How much can I put on this again? A decent amount. It does bring me over again, though. Yikes. Just do three, then. Let's get... What do I want? I definitely want to keep my turrets pretty armored, because, I mean, 16% chance of flash fire is still a pretty good chance of blowing myself up. What do I get rid of? Uh, well, I don't think I 
minus 2% chance to flash fire. Doesn't really get rid of that much space though, that's the problem. <laughs> Could also take anti-flood one on this. And barbed two. Okay, that works. I don't like getting rid of that. Do have maximum bulk. Okay, what if I get these back? And then many bulkheads. Can I even take an extra? Nope, okay. Can I go increased shells? I can. Potentially with standard? Nope. Only lights. Let's just increase that to 3.5. Yeah. And rename this the same one as that. Call it the. Read the. Puerto. Ayo. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, and I kept the ship. I thought I was going to get rid of the ship for a second, but I kept the ship. Okay. And I think... Save design. Okay. Battle cruiser now. Let's... what are we focusing on? I was thinking do 28 knots. So look at the money, the price, and the percentage. 29. That jumps already. 8.5. Ay ay ay. That's already jumping. Alright, let's put some stuff on it first then. Put all the basics on this. Put this back, scoot this up here, put a single funnel on, ay ay ay. I see we're going to need more funnels than just one. Yep, we're definitely going to need more funnels than one. There's even semi-oil forced turbines. Well, actually, that kind of works. Then if we're hitting 30, then, yeah, we're going to need more than just that. We'll come back to that in a second. In the meanwhile, I'm thinking 11-inch guns. 11-inch guns works fine for me. They work really well against heavy cruisers. And not terribly against capital ships. Nice little compact. Throw some 6 inch secondaries on here. Now we have a 4 weight offset. So unfortunately what I need to do is I actually need to extend this. Because I need to find a place to put another funnel. Let's just say we're doing two standard funnels. And then with like 30. Okay, what if we kept it with the enlarged then? 132. Enlarged funnels or medium funnels. Does give me a hundred percent. So if I want to do thirty dollars, which I do, actually, hold on. Alternatively, 
you get rid of all of that. And I have one. Okay, so we're at 28. Going from 28 to 30. It's not that big of a jump. What about 32? Big jump. Okay. So let's just say negative 5. 31. Nope. 31. Nope. Does this trick not work anymore? Doesn't seem to. Eh, kind of. Reduce that all the way. Best tower, best rear tower. And then let's get two big funnels on here. Really good engine efficiency. Let's get a barbette. Let's get... I think... Six 13-inch guns. So we can fight battle ships. And hopefully has enough speed to make up for the lack of armor it's going to have. I think I can almost do induced. Let's keep it on forced. We're already getting up there. Let's see if we can't get away with the 10 5. It looks like we can. We're going to have pretty under armored turrets. That is okay. What's our chance to flash fire? 34%. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, light shell size. And. I think base view standard again. We're overweight. We could bring this down to 55 cal. That's the wrong gun. 55 cal. And bring the 6 inches up to 45. We do need a radio and coincidence. Let's do many bulkheads so I can throw some more 6 inch secondaries on here. Just so there's one area there. Is that it though? There's an area there. Okay, what if I increase the beam to negative 8? What if I go negative 5? That makes the problem worse. Negative 7. Negative 8. Nope, not positive. Negative 8, please. Still can't fit. Okay. So let's just hope that's enough. Use that all the way. Maybe a bit more of range? Hmm, I would like to fit that, so let me see if I can scoot these guns in. Okay, scooting it all in, it did fit. Fits pretty good. Got a whole 104 tons to work with. So I think I'm going to keep it like that. Oh, did I touch the Citadel? I did. Okay. Okay. The San Gabriel. Save. Now for the Heavy Cruiser. And there's a lot of Heavy Cruiser hulls. I think I'm going to design two. Oh, I kind of want to design three. What's the fastest one here? 23.5 knots. Okay, I'm going to design two. One is going to be the same speed as the battleships, and one is going to try and beat it around the same speed as the bow cruiser. Or at least 
at least a kind of fast. Let's find the one with the most resistance, which is this one. Always want to look at resistance. This actually has more resistance than the battleships, which is kind of funny. Let's throw on good main tower, good secondary tower, uh, a funnel. This thing can do only 19 and a half knots. Okay, so let's just say 19 and a half. Bring it to 20. 1350. Okay. 21. Okay. 22. Ay, ay, ay. 1.5? No. 21. Okay, reduce, reduce. 22. That's still not great. Let's just say we want to do 24. Did I go? Hold on a second. Okay, never mind. So 24 knots. Just say, what if I take negative 5, negative 10? Still not terrible. If I do 0, 0, eh. Negative 5, negative 5 is pretty good. Engine efficiency is atrocious. Let me see if I can't fix it. And I fixed it. What guns do I want on this thing? Do I dare do the 11 inch guns? I don't think I can. I don't think I have enough displacement to put 11 inch guns. Do I? Hold on a second. Because if I do, I will. That's going to be a huge citadel. Uh, throw on probably all that. Basic stuff. Same shell type. Do I even take lights too? I think I do. Just to reduce that flash fire chance. And then I want... I think I want 10 inches of armor on this. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe not. Let's jump straight up 8. I might be able to do 8. We've gone over. I think I think 11 inches is going to be too much. Let's just get rid of that, get rid of those barbettes. Let's throw this on. And this on. Hold on a second. I don't know why they look so long. Isn't this a thing where I can put 8 inch guns on this? Yeah. Huh. I mean, honestly, I might just do that. That looks pretty dang cool. I like that amount of guns. Okay, where does this become a problem? There. Yeah, that's a nice 8-inch gun broadside, that's for sure. Uh, flash fire chance 10%. Let's actually stick with standard then. Even heavy shells. Let's do heavy shells. Let's take 4, 2, I think 10, 10, 5, if I can, I can. Or 40 caliber 8 inch guns. I think I'm okay with that. Let's throw some secondary, I think, 4 inch guns. Okay, now we're definitely over. Pop one off the front. These are 35 cal. That's okay. Let's take 5, 2.5 armor. Did my inch turrets change armor? No, they didn't. Okay, I just maxed them out. Right, let's just do 8, 8, 4, 4, 2. Um, well, I kind of like it. Not going to lie, I kind of like it. 
it's around half the price of at least my most expensive battleship and my heavy cruiser, which is also very expensive. Maximum bulkheads. I might get rid of bulkheads to get more range, because I desperately need that range. Holy moly, that range is atrocious. Let's do something like that, because this is definitely more just workhorse ships. A negative six. Does this make it worse? No. I have to take zero. Zero, zero. Okay. Let me do this. So these will be the ships that kind of keep up with the battleships. And they have hopefully enough armor that they can stand up to any incoming fire for at least a little bit. I just realized I didn't even uh, screw all these things back or noodle properly. Let me do that really quick. Okay, a little bit more noodled. I think I could even technically downgrade the funnel by one. Wow, that is a that is a big jump. Can't get two of those. Yeah, let's just take with this one then. I have a little bit of displacement. Um, what do I need? Increase shells? Mm, not quite. I'll just keep that for a uh, refit. Alright, the... Sirena? 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 Something like that. Save design. Let's make the second every cruiser. So that was the one that goes on the battle line with the battleships. Let's make a very fast one now. Probably... which one has the best hull form? 78. I'll take the one with 78. I'm gonna do 22 off the bat. 23. Eh, not great. 24. Is it 30? I want these to do around 32. And we're not doing 32. Okay, what about 26? Nope, not 36. 26. That's potentially doable. 27. 26.5. Let's stick with 26 for now. Decent main tower. Decent secondary tower. Get some funnels on here. Okay, well, I guess we can do induced. Three for bets? No. Can I put the 11 inch guns on this one? No, I get sides. Nope, okay. I get. Can I get 10 inch sides? Yes, I can. In that case, let's keep them all the same caliber. Do more 10 inch guns. So that's a decent amount of 10 inch guns. Throw some more stuff on. Okay, standard. Let's just do base view. Standard, standard. Maybe don't touch that. Advanced, enhanced. Coincidence and advanced. Um, this armor could be less good. What happens if I try doing better armor? Okay, not that great. Could oh, do I reduce the armor? This is already such abysmal armor, though. 
Yikes. That gives me more to work with. Okay, now I can do, I think, 8 4 at least. And then we can just take 10, 10, 5. What caliber are these? 41? Just keep them 40s. 40 cal works for me. Scoot this in a little bit more. Scoot this in a little bit more. A little bit more space to work with. Get some secondaries. I don't have any spots for them. Okay. Don't really have spots for them, which means this is probably going to be more focused on being a fast ship. Let's get those light shells. That does nothing. Let's get into Torp 2. See if we can hit 27. We can hit 27. 28's a little bit much. But we can hit 27. Hmm. We could stick with 27. That's turning speed. Can I see that again? There it is. Eh. For a heavy cruiser, it's not great, but... Also not horrible. Good shells? Yep. Alright, let's take incre- or do I want heavy shells? Flash for a chance? Or maybe light shells would be good then. Light standard. Do I want heavy? Let's do heavy. And hope the speed keeps- oh no 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 no. Let's, let's do light so we can pepper. Light increased. I think I like light increased. So I'm going to stick with that. Okay. Uh, I don't suppose I can do 27.5 with this. Not quite. Okay. San Pietro. I could do... Let me up a pip. Get it almost perfectly balanced, that's what I can do. Okay. Save design. Okay, let's work on the light cruiser. I don't think we're taking semi-armored. Probably light cruiser 4. Ooh, light cruiser 3 is also very fast. This is a very fast one. Oh yeah, we're definitely not using this one. So we're going to use Light Cruiser 3. But it has next to no resistance, so we're going to have to rely on the speed to keep it alive. So 29.5. That's a lot of displacement taken already, what? Wait, it lied to me. It says max optimal speed 29.5. Or 54%. 27. 28. 29. 9.5? It lied to me. There we go. 31. Let's get 32 so they can go the same speed as the battle cruisers. 32 knots works just fine for me. Can I do this at negative 5? No, not really. Okay. Let's throw this here. Let's put this here. Let's get one funnel, see how it works. 5%, holy jeez. I think we need compact funnels. Because I think even with semi-oil force turbines... Yeah, we need compact funnels. Unless I can fit enough of these on. No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, seven of those funnels. I'll adjust them later. That's a lot of funnels. Turning speed, not great. So if torpedoes are fired, it will be a little screwed. Um, let's take some mines. I think I'll do the same thing as the other ship. And throw... Do I just put 7-inch guns on this? Nope, they don't fit. Okay, 6-inch guns. Nice. So we have 6-inch guns now. Can't put things down there. I put them over here. Hmm. Same barbette. Back here. Let's push this up. Push this up. I also need room for torpedoes. Yeah, so I was afraid it was going to happen. Let's get the six inch guns now. Throw them on. Still for weight offset, that's fine. Throw some. Wow, that's a lot of sp torpedo spots. Um, let's get actually for bats. Figure of one. I think I want to keep it though. That's a lot of funnels, jeez. Um, okay. I don't think I need secondaries. I think that's enough 6 inch guns to take out anything. Let's make them 40 cal. 40 cal 6 inch guns. Probably just match the armor. Never mind, I can't even do that. Five, four, three armor, I guess. It takes six inch. I cannot break it up. Four? No. Two, one, one. That's what we're gonna have to do. Basically, just destroy your armor at this point. Only a mine layer two. A little over. Mine layer one, I guess. Okay. Um, not bad. Can you take standard? No, okay. I want light shells. I think I want heavy shells. Not that we can take it. Okay. The Pompeo Magno? Something like that. Really big forward offset though. I like to shove everything back a little bit.
Camera a little longer. Do spar vet. That works. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to deal with. I'll reduce this, increase that. A little over again. Do I even want mines? Let's not take mines on this. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And I will make a second mine laying my cruiser probably on this hull. So this will still go pretty fast. This thing can do 27 normally. So I'm going to push it to 28. Yikes. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I guess I could do this. Make it a little shorter. Just put very weak towers on it. This would be, I guess, kind of colonial as well. So in that case we need max range and standard bulkheads. Uh, main guns. I just put a couple of five inches on this. Can I get more vets? No. Okay. Maybe just a couple of four inches to spam. If I take beam back to zero. I can't put a couple guns on. There, there's a bunch of four entries. Then we're going to throw some torpedoes. Boink, boink, and boink. Can I get negative five with this? No, we got to stick with zero then. Give it pretty cheap stuff. I think enhance your loading well, it helps a little bit. Get all the mines. Two, one, 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 point five, point five, point five, and four. And we'll get one. And mine point five. Five. Like a thirty-five cal. Thirty-five cal looks just fine for me. I could get secondary guns in this. Where would I put them though? I can put a lot on the ship, what the heck? They even possibly up armor it? It looks like it.
Hmm. Okay. Break this thing. Mm, almost. Almost. <laughs> Stick a three. Okay. The Emmanuel Filiberto. Not a bad ship, just gonna send it around the world, probably. Pretty cheap at night. No, not as cheap as this one, though. Why are you so expensive? Look at it. It's the bulkheads. Now you're cheaper. Fuel? Okay, well, that I can't do much about. Wait, why is the engine efficiency so bad? Your range is supposed to be great. That sucks. A bow in there. Interesting. There we go. Better range. Slightly. Oh, we got the draft. Okay. So, how small can I make the beam? Negative two. At the zero. I think I can. Oh, not quite. Okay, something went wrong. Let's go back to negative five. There we go. We've got more expensive, but we have a lot more range, which is good. Don't these have less range? Hold on. Fuel efficiency. This gives us more range. But it also, we can't really do it. So that puts us way over. Okay. Well, this is okay, I guess. Finally, the destroyer. Okay, so this thing could do 34. So, 34, 68%. So, 30, 31, 32. Make it 34, negative 5, negative 5. Best rear tower, best front tower. Now, oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Single barreled guns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go square. We'll do three inches, I think. That's way too big for that. Let's get a small barbette. That is not small. That's a really big barbette. What I'm thinking of doing... It's making these 3.5s. 
So they look a little better. Let's get a funnel. Maybe we'll take these though, since I can fit more of them. Three-inch guns aren't super useful. Where do I put torpedoes though? What I could also do is get rid of those. Let's take a couple torpedo tubes there. And then. Really? Just the one? You said torpedo tube there. Hmm. Make um, 18s. You guys still fit. Good. Can I throw more 3 inches on the side? No. Throw 2 inches on the side, though. Two point five inch guns. Let's give these guys mine sweeping. Um, wow. Almost overweight. Not very fun. Reload. 7.6 seconds. 6.8. Eh, let's hang on to it. Actually, no. We don't need to. We don't even need that many funnels. There we go. We'd actually make this shorter too. 500 tons? Go back to zero. Can I get... Not quite. Increase by five? Looks like it. No torpedoes on the side though. Three percent. Two percent. One percent. No, two percent. Okay. Pretty nice little small ship. Uh, if I reduce this further, you know, 
This makes it better. Okay. Standard bulkheads is okay. Maximum range. And we're overweight. Fine. Let's get four spoilers for that extra range. Reduce torpedo complements. That does work. Turn base fuse. Let's increase HE. I suppose I could do that. I can. I do this. Can we do that? Let's just do this for them. Okay. The Ascado. With the Italian destroyer, those torpedo tubes are going to hit the front of the ship. Kind of funny to see. Okay. I don't suppose I can push these in further, can I? No. Roll and pitch are atrocious, but that is unfortunately something we're going to have to deal with. So... I'm going to make this... 800... no, not 800. 900. There we go. 900 ton little destroyer. Okay, safe. 